Welcome to the Houston Methodist Cabbage and Valve Discharge Teaching Medication video. This video is designed to provide guidance for teaching discharge medications for your cabbage and valve patients. Hello, my name is Kaylee and I'm a clinical pharmacist here at Houston Methodist mm -hmm. and I'm going to teach you about your heart medications. Okay. Your doctor is sending you home on some new medications uh, that I want to discuss with you. I would like to go over each one of them with you, answer your questions, and make sure that you know how to safely take them once you go home. Okay. I will provide you with some printed information and then we'll go over your discharge uh, medication schedule as well. First, let's go over the medication schedule from your discharge paperwork. This first section here provides a list of new medications and we'll go over them individually. The next section are actually medications that you were taking at home that we didn't make any changes to. The third section here are medications uh, that you were taking at home but we have changed since you came into the hospital. And then the last section here will be medications that you will stop after you go home. Your doctor has prescribed Plavix. The generic form of Plavix is Clopidogrel. This medication is also a blood thinner and it works with the aspirin, but it's a little bit different. And it is important um, to take it with the aspirin to keep the blood flowing smoothly through the bypassed vessels. The dose of Plavix is going to be 75 milligrams once a day, and you can take it with or without food, but if you notice that it causes an upset stomach or nausea, then it is best to take it with food. Possible side effects of Plavix include heartburn, nausea, vomiting, bleeding or bruising, and stomach or intestinal ulcers or bleeding. Rare but sometimes serious bleeding events do occur. And as always, let your doctor know if you have any unusual or excessive bleeding. Be careful to avoid over-the-counter NSAIDs, including Motrin, Aleve, Naproxen, or Ibuprofen. And also, avoid over-the-counter medications for acid reflux like omeprazole or Prilosec and ezomeprazole or Nexium. Just be sure and talk to your doctor before starting one of those kinds of medications. It is important to tell all of your doctors, including your dentist and your eye doctor, that you are taking Plavix. Do you have any questions about this medication? Will I always have to take the blood thinner? You'll likely not be on Plavix forever. Um, however, that is um, a discussion with your cardiologist or your heart doctor, and they will decide the safest treatment plan for you. Okay, if I had any questions, I'll uh, ask them when I'm on my follow-up appointment. I do want to make sure that we have the correct pharmacy on file so that your prescriptions can be sent electronically. Is this correct? Yes, it's correct. Okay, good. <laughs> So some pain medications require a paper prescription that you take to the pharmacy to have filled. Please ask your nurse if you have one of these prescriptions because you'll need to take it to the pharmacy to be filled. Okay, I can do that today because I'm gonna go pick up my prescriptions anyway. So now that we've reviewed all of your medications, let's review the schedule in your discharge paperwork. This schedule shows a list of all the medications you should be taking and the times of the day that you should be taking them. As we go down this list, let me know if there's any medications you're not familiar with. Okay. Take the time to review the medication schedule with your patient and answer their questions and concerns. Confusion about medications is a common complaint from patients and it can increase their risk of readmission. Taking the time to review the medications now can help prevent complications and non-compliance. I do want to make sure that you understand what each medication is for and how to safely take it at home. Can you tell me when you're supposed to take your Plavix and what it is for? Okay, according to this, I take the Plavix once a day in the morning and it's a blood thinner to keep my blood flowing through my new bypasses. Exactly. It's important to assess your patient's level of understanding by using the teach back method. Asking open-ended questions will help you determine any gaps in learning. For your safety, it is important that you take your medications as prescribed by your doctor. If you have any questions or concerns, please do call your doctor. Do you have any questions right now about your medications? No, ma'am, I think you've covered everything. And if I do have questions, I'll call the doctor. Oh, wonderful. Well, it's been a pleasure meeting you and thank you for choosing Houston Methodist. Nice meeting you too. Thank you.